AJ sends a message to Jarrell Big Baby Miller's mother. He wants her to know that he still loves her. And if she needs anything, you just let the landlord know and he'll take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that <laughs> and he also goes on uh, to talk about how um, you know basically it was a wasted opportunity and um, how uh, you know he let himself down he left his family down and why would somebody just mess over a staggering amount of money like that but he doesn't deserve to be in the ring you know, with anybody and you know so on and so forth and whatnot. And uh, Jarrell Big Baby Miller is a classic tale, man. I wish at the eye of time I could just step in these guys' shoes right quick. Cause I don't get how I wouldn't have done that, you know. Um, I mean, he must have been really terrified. Once you think about it, Jarrell Big Baby Miller was really terrified. I think that's what all that chit and chatter was about and all that because you getting hyped up on that many steroids but then again who knows what's going on in boxing but yet at the same time just the shit that he was just caught taking was just like man like that's ridiculous but to leave that kind of money on the floor but he won't be the only one you know what I'm saying 2019 was the year of a lot of people leaving a lot of money on the floor man and I know if they sit back in, in, in quarantine right now, they got to be thinking of, I mean, quarantine going to bring a, a lot of thoughts on a lot of people. So you're going to be reassessing your life and what you're doing and what you want to sharpen up. And it ain't no way in hell if just normal, regular blue collar people are sitting back reflecting on their life. Ain't no way in hell. These dudes who have walked over 8 million, 10 million, 6 million, 120 million, it ain't no way they looking at themselves now like that was stupid. You know what I'm saying? It, it's no way. And you can tell that. You can tell that it's been some thinking going on because look at all the people who've been mouthy and lippy and aggressive and listen to all the stuff that people are saying and you know what I'm saying? Everybody jumping out on this, everybody saying that. Because it gives you a good chance to sit back. It ain't nothing like being sat down. You know, like forcefully sat down to be able to think about something. You know? And when you sitting down, I, I bet you these boxers is going to be ambitious. You know? I, I bet you some of them can come out this situation more hungry until the strip club open. <laughs> until wings stop open. You know what I'm saying? Sonic and all that other crap these boxes be eating and crap like that. But um, I just thought that was a funny little thing right there. And Jarrell Big Baby Miller. The funny thing about Jarrell Big Baby Miller is he's going to get another opportunity. And he's going to get another good opportunity too. That's the funny thing. It won't be nowhere near that. But this is the thing. Even though he says that, even though Anthony Joshua says that, at the same time, you watch Eddie Hearn go rub shoulders with him. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's really not a knock on Eddie. I understand the game. That just means that the heavyweight division is so small, we got to keep recycling these same dudes. Like, I would understand, like, to me, and this is how you know, like, the lower weight divisions, the 147-pound division, this is how you know that they bullshitting. Because if anybody need to be slow and fighting each other and trying to stretch out the work, you know what I'm saying? To get these guys to career. It should be in the heavyweight division. When the heavyweight division, who ain't got no bodies in it, is moving faster than the 147-pound division and all these other divisions, that's strange. You know what I'm saying? Because the heavyweight division is hella small. That's why Big Baby Miller going to get another chance. You know? Because they need fresh bodies. And you have to understand, it's a lot of boxers exiting we got a lot of exiting boxers do you guys know what i mean by that like you got a lot of boxers on the way out and we don't have nobody to replace we don't have a new crop coming in straight up that's what the state emergency was about but that was just about america but um the uk can't fill that void but 
if that happens, then that means boxing is going to be completely dominated by that. And that ain't a bad thing, man. That's better for the boxers in all actuality. You can't just appreciate you guys more, man. You know what I'm saying? Man? They just appreciate boxing more, man. Go where you love. Go where they want to pay you. You know what I'm saying? Go there, man. So, anyways, that's just my thoughts on the Bruce Lane. I'm out.